Actually, going to be starting on the CT side. Vitality on the T side. And we are going to be on Vertigo to begin with. Very, very exciting map. I've really changed my mind a lot on this. I think we've had a lot of great games on it and a lot of chaos as well, which we love. I expect a lot more to come out during the course of this best of three. Poison going to be early on the A ramp with Blame F over there as well. Vitality have dropped the bomb back, so they're, they're just checking to make sure there's nothing truly crazy going on here. And... Um, we shall see exactly how this will play out. I think, um, I don't know. I was so convinced by complexity yesterday, but I've got to be honest, the way Vitality played earlier today against FaZe was just amazing. So I don't know. It's a, it's a bit of a coin toss for me right now. Are you scared at all of the inconsistency? I guess that would be the final thing that would hold you back. Blame yeah. F is going to see. He's going to hear the footsteps as well. There goes Poison. And Vitality's not going to... Ooh, they are going to slow down. They pause to throw some utility. This is going to allow Complexity to rotate over into position. But the main hit is coming right now. Smoke, Molotov to force them back. Nice swing from Blame F. If he could have won that fight as well, that would have been everything. He actually went behind shocks, which is really weird. Three versus four. No bomb plan yet. No uh, hidden grenades here for Complexity either. And they're not even going to fake the bomb. They're just going to go straight for it. Not afraid for any HEs being saved. So, a difficult retake ahead of Complexity as they have got no smokes to block off anything. And they just need to hit some straight headshots. And it's got to be quick here. They're escaping Vitality. And that's a real big problem. Now, you don't even just have to go and, and get the defuse. You have to find them on the ramp. And how do you push up to do this? This is almost an impossible struggle ahead of Complexity. And they are definitely getting shut down. Apex Ooh. coming in with a big double kill to end the round. Those are some nice shots from Apex. Very quick headshots turn in the corner, and you're right. No utility in a three versus four. Once the bomb is down, nothing for complexity to do. It's all down to desperate headshots. And unfortunate that maybe Blame F never spotted that second player over towards the halls. The pop flash came just a little bit late. Scout and Deagles picked up for the complexity defense. It is two MAC-10s, AK-47s, and a Galil for the attacking side. They will invest into traditional Deagles and Scout. Poison already with a tag up. That's how rounds tend to get out of control. The side will hunt him down. That's actually pretty good. Some decent grenades being thrown in return. But nice to get that kill uh, and make him pay for a damage on shocks. Yeah, that's really nice aggression from the Mac-10, but also a lack of uh, lack of support from these Deagles, these pistols that the rest of the teammates had. Nobody was close to poison to keep that spacing, or at least scare Zaiwu away from that level of a commitment. Vitality is uh, going to take the opportunity, just waltz up into this B bomb site. They're going to get a plant. The complexity has vacated the area. So it'll be a uh, free round. And I don't think complexity should be anywhere near going for this. These challenges are not necessary. You're not winning. Back off and try again. Yeah, even if you were to snipe someone away, it's like, great, you did a little bit of damage, but the chances that you'll lose the armor and the deagles is, is pretty big, even if you did snipe someone. So I agree. Fine to just take the loss and, and move into the third round. We, the desk was talking a little bit about what uh, what players to look for and, you know, like, who, who would, would be the, the players to maybe make a difference. I think Oboe was mentioned. Poison briefly, uh, you know, brought up. You got a favorite on complexity side? Uh, I mean, Oboe and Config, I think, are the two, like, real main powerhouses. Um, and then I think if you want to go down to a third, um, you can kind of take your pick between Blame F and Rush. I think both of them have, uh, have shown some very good things. I agree yeah. with Maniac. I think of all those, of all those, those last three players, I think Poison probably has the most potential left for us to realize, for us to see. Um, but I don't think we've, I, I mean, I, I, I think at this point in time in his career, I think he's still not quite ready to show it off to everyone yet on, on, on a consistent series basis, maybe a map or maybe a half here and there. So, I mean, for me, for me, this there's still like a very romantic story about the about Rush's career coming back into it. And I, that's the reason why I choose him to usually follow as my third player for this complexity team. All right. Yeah, I think that what's interesting about Poison for me is is I think the particular sort of swing and the impact that he could have on a game. You know, if he's just having like an average game, then he's pretty good and he could do a lot. But if he's having one of those games where he's just going to have, you know, back to back to back rounds of opening up with the AWP, which we've seen in the past. I mean, that is, that's how you win a map without even having to put so much effort into it. And I think it's unlikely that will, you know, happen throughout the course of an entire best of three or anything like that. But that's, that's out there as a, as a potential thing here. 
Yeah, I, I think I think it's just going to be tough against a team like Vitality, who we've seen in this event and definitely saw it against FaZe, are just so well versed and well coordinated in their in their various utility usage, the yeah. way they peak as a team. I think that's going to be very difficult for a young and largely inexperienced opper uh, to perform in an admirable way. So I think Poison's going to have a tough time in this series. Zaiwu's going to lead up with an AK-47 through the halls. He's got an angle, clearing his close corners, smoke providing cover, and as soon as that fades, they'll be able to actually attack this bomb site. Nice little pick off on Rush before they really get going. They have a single HE grenade on Oboe, and only if it hit Masuta could it really do any damage. And they're just on the other side. So, some good choices being made here from Vitality. No, no weird trickery coming their way where they've had to fight their way back. Um, yeah, they've largely avoided most of the damage early on in the rounds here. It's got to feel good getting started and not getting, you know, reset right away, which we've seen a lot throughout the course of the last couple of days. Yeah, ooh, good shot from Poison. That's not going to prompt them forward. I like what Complexity's doing. These two Deagles are going to save the armor. Uh, we're not going to see them actually challenge for it. Maybe a kill at the end from Obo. That's a good find. Shocks goes down, so it's a costly victory. And with the armor saved up on Blame F and Obo, the scout on Poison, which he can choose to keep, um, the, the money situation for Complexity is not too bad. They've done a good amount of damage. Three to nothing for Vitality, but the guns come out now for the defense. I'd be very interested to see how well prepared they are here, Vitality, compared to what we saw against FaZe, where, you know, the game plan was so obvious. Like, they just looked like they've done a lot of research and, um... You know, no reason why they couldn't have done the same against Complexity. Obviously, a lot of work to put in, but you knew you were going to be facing them uh, if you if you beat FaZe, so it's no surprises here. Fourth round. Oh, and a run boost around the corner. Saibu will get a kill, and he'll go right down afterwards. That's so early to pull that trick. And that's that's well worth it. Maybe that's why I caught Oboe off guard, but MAC-10 traded for an M4. That's a huge exchange. Vitality is going to love the cost effectiveness of that. That's going to leave Config all alone at this site, and he's going to be planted here. He has so much pressure coming. He needs that kill. He needs to fall back, but there's no cover on top of the boxes. And this is a round that, outside of an incredible shot from Poison with the scout, cannot be recovered. And he's going to go down to the flames. They burn. He went for it. Russian Blame F now must save. Yeah, definitely not worth it. A two on three like this, I mean... They have a couple of smokes and everything else, but how do you how do you find anyone on this bomb site? They can hide and stay back for a long, long time. Yeah. You could see Config, he, he wanted that first kill. He wanted to fall back and throw down a smoke to, to back off and play it safe. And they were so quickly on top of him that he never got a chance to get away. And it was also, I think it's just the sheer numbers that that Vitality threw at this. Look and see if Blame F, how many kills he can get on the exit. There's the first one. Might not want to challenge any longer, prioritizing the M4. Poison's going to be able to buy in the next round. Actually, they can all buy in the next round. Even at weapons can be dropped from Rush and Blame F over to teammates. So this is going to be another solid buy for Complexity. I think it's the, ooh, this is, there's the run boost over the top. Yeah, Oboe's not even looking in that direction. It's the sheer number, and this is one really cool thing about Vitality Calling recently is they really pounce on advantages when they find him. They take out Oboe, they know more than likely it's going to be one player at that B bomb site. it's Config as well, and they just push up, and Config in that position is great if it's just going to be one player challenging in a default, but when it's three members of Vitality going up the stairs, you've got no chance. Yeah, there's been a really impressive level of follow-through on whatever has been called from Vitality. You can't, you can't accuse them of doubting themselves or having any sort of you know, second guessing going on. They really are all in on some of these strategies. And I think that's, that's a large part of it. I think that plus the research is, goes a long way to show the, the power of them here. Orp on Poison, and with the backup that he's got here, it could be really effective, but they're gonna start to fall back a little bit. Grenades have done some damage early on, but Rush also gonna get tagged up heavily. And now Blame has got to really think about this. The rest of his team has fallen back as well into the site. So not the pickoff they were looking for, I think. No, they really weren't. Poison, though, wisely gives up the angle. Here's a nice boost to look over the smokes when they do come in. Good nade damage. I mean, Vitality's done everything they possibly could to soften up this defense. Blame F is going to happily back away with a five on four. Molotov's coming out. Flashbangs into the site. Poison backs away. Another kill for him, though, in retreat. Now a two-man advantage for Complexity. And this round is looking good so far. 
Cities will be a bomb plant. And they even escape behind it. Cyber with a kill on Rush. Starting to look a little bit better. They have a single Molotov left on Shocks, but there is a smoke left on Config, and if he uses it in the wrong position, well, we can all guess what might happen here. He's thinking about it, setting it up right about now, and yeah, it's gonna land on top of the... No, actually, it's gonna land a little bit further back. Ooh, this could get strange. Shocks is gonna be going down. Cyber one more kill. And now they should be able to get at least a chance for a defuse here. It's a two-on-two. Two. And Masutra on the one angle. Saibu gonna continue with a nice triple. And Masutra swings right on the other side after that kill. What a great afterplant here, especially for Saibu. Yeah, that's uh, that's so well done. I cannot believe Complexity is able to drop that. A couple kills that don't need to come out before the retake really begins. I really think they squandered this five-on-three. This is a peak from Rush that doesn't need to happen. But man, not able to get things done. Zaiwu just does such a fantastic job all the way back at ramp. And he's doing it with the AK-47. Such a talented player. And Complexity's defense is uh, struggling to get started in this game. Yeah, they really are. And this is a double scout and some, some pistols and an MP9. So very limited. They couldn't win the earlier rounds. This one is looking even more unlikely. I can't believe that they didn't connect. They were all standing on top of each other and that scout somehow hit none of them. So a quick round here. I mean, there's, there's nothing else to say. I feel like these have been some six rounds really early. Just all of them going to Vitality and without, apart from the last round, without much of a struggle at all for them. I mean, this is just a group of Vitality players just marching into every bomb site everywhere they go. I mean, they're so grouped up that there's no reason to slow down. There's You don't have a default spread that's giving you an escape route, so it's move forward. And the other side of that, too, is they're just winning all the fights. So what's even the point to slow it down? You're able to overwhelm these bomb sites, and it'll be 6 to nothing now for Vitality. And I think it's time for a timeout to be called from Complexity as this next buy comes in. They need to get on the board. Vitality's pick is going perfectly. It really is. And, I mean, I guess that's, that is worth pointing out. They did pick the map, so... Always a chance that the second one will at least start out differently, but they're really enjoying this. And they should be. 6-0 in their favor right now. Top of the scoreboard is Saibu with 8-3. and three. And Misutra at 5-0 and oh as well. Hasn't died yet. Um, RPK has got no kills, hasn't really been called on yet. I guess it doesn't matter if your team is winning. And on the other side, I mean, there is a, there is a lack of kills. I think that's one of the things we're noticing on the scoreboard. They do need a couple of more, maybe especially to start the rounds with. It feels like they get pushed back and then they just can't stop that bomb from going down. Yeah, well, this is the second time we'll see Poison with an AWP and actually Config is going to switch into it as well. So this is one way to try and stop those challenges towards the B-bomb set on the stairs. Config can just hold an angle, allows Oboe to be more mobile if he chooses. I'm really interested in what Poison does with his op towards the A-bomb site. Last time he had plenty of time to just peer down the ramp and look for a pick, oh but couldn't God. find it. And again, the run boost again, and there goes the defense. There's RPK's first kill. And holy hell, Good night. that is so fast that it happens. And round's over. Yep. They won the round in five seconds. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> Poison gonna pick up one. Don't think it makes any difference at all here. That is so wild. I feel like we saw this. Uh, we're starting to see this like trend out of Vitality, where they're just like find something that works, and they just like. Oh dear, they're gonna lose all the weapons, aren't they? Rush is gonna go for the follow-up peak, but he's almost got to save the AWP and just bail out. And there's even a player hunting. Shox is over at this side of the map. Oh, he's made footsteps. Blame F is going to get him. He'll provide some safety for Rush. But we saw this on Dust 2, right? That heavy lean at the end against FaZe for Vitality, where they just barraged along A. They found that it worked, and they hit him there like three times in the last four rounds. And that's how they ended up winning the map, was just so much success there. Yeah. Here again, to go back to the boost after a save round for Complexity, and catching Oboe and Config off guard once again is just like... What a cherry on top. They're just saying, you're never going to believe that we'll do this twice in a row. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I mean... I don't know, Complexity could probably try and rationalize this as much as they want early on, right? Thinking, well, ooh, they even look like they kind of spotted it, but just couldn't get the gun out in time, I guess. Yeah, you, you've got to think at this point, right? If you dreamt of having, like, a hot start, you had some sort of speech going into it, like, let's get fired up, let's get everyone ready. 
and then you just you beat up seven rounds in a row some of them not even competitive yeah where's the timeout where's the where's the rallying of the troops here for complexity they need they need something to get back into this there might have been a nice uh, pick off there poison through the smoke to take down rpk now the a bomb side though is completely empty completely empty oh dear well, they only have uh, deagles and a couple of rifles. Poison is here. He'd have to challenge right now. He'd have to get a couple of kills in this sequence. And I guess at this point, you're going to be buying in the next round. You're going to have money. See what you can do. Be bold. Risk everything. Oh, but he can only get the one. Shox has him pinned down afterwards, and Utility has his teammates pinned far, far away. Four on three, though, for complexity. Bit of a chance, slim one maybe, but a nice shot from Config will bring one of them down. Could have been a follow-up there, and Shox is very low on health. They can actually turn this around. No kid, so they're gonna need to move a bit quick. Nice swing from Obo and a Deagle headshot, and that is a very unlikely round for Complexity to pick up, but they managed to do it. That has to feel good. I mean, if you're gonna come back, then why not do it in a round like this, where you're basically in the wrong bomb site, you don't have all the weapons, and now you pick up two orbs and two AKs. Yeah, of all, of all the rounds to win, it's not even the weapons they brought into it. It was the positioning. That bombsite was taken for free. I'm, I'm surprised to see Vitality let that one slip away. Config able to get some nice kills with the AWP. And Complexity, 1-7. to seven. And now they have to build upon it. What if they run boost again, Anders? What if they do it just one more time? I hope they will. Make it a double run boost. Get everyone out there. <laughs> A double run boost around the building. Now that would be a sight. High chances that people bump into each other and die. Oh, he doesn't see it. And he's going to get Molotov oh. all the way down. Oh, no. It looked like he could have had a chance for a flick. But that's that's kind of devastating now. There's a boost to look over. This could be a free kill right here for Blamef. He's thinking about it. Just needs one more step in the wrong direction here. And at least they're going to be able to get a little bit of a return. A nice job for Complexity to at least get that much. Oh, no, oh. no. The nade lands after the spam. But Config's here with the AWP. He brings it right back into a three on three. But still, Complexity, I mean, every exchange, they're on the back foot. They're fortunate to pull it right into even favor. Masuta still lurking outside of the B bombsite. Two players on a ramp for Vitality, and Complexity still have no idea where this is going to end up. Yeah, Bomb is still waiting out here. Blame if it started to fall back. I think they're making a, an early decision, maybe. Config rotating back through middle, so... They have a, lo a lot of grenades on the Complexity side, uh, so maybe they could, they could just wait and try and see if, once the Bomb is down, if they could do some damage on approach, get one of those HEs in. Obo is far away with the second one, so that's not going to be doing that much. But yeah, it looks like another afterplant type scenario here. Well, let's see if they can handle it. This time they've got the nades primed and ready, or at least one of them, excuse me. It's not going to clean up, it's not going to stop the plant as they're too high in HP. Config trying to spam for it. There's the nade, but it's in the wrong spot. Zaiwu not damaged by the no-scope from Config. And Masuta holding a tight angle along the wall. Now they've all fallen back. And they have one HE grenade left on Masuta. Last grenades are coming out now for Complexity. And they are going to go for another attempted A retake. And that has not worked out for them really so far. And this is not looking good either. Masuta and RPK. Strong fight before they even get close to the bomb. Double kill for RPK. And 8-1. and one. Now, they still have money on the complexity side because of how they won that last round, but this is still a pretty terrible start for the uh, for the CT side. I would wonder if that post plant was micromanaged by a dead player or if that was Zaiwu calling it out. He had one flashbang at the end of this fight, and you could see him kind of... You could see Vitality players positioning themselves, RPK and Masuta transitioning from the scaffolding over to the ramp. He throws the flashbang, and all three peak before the retake is, is just beginning. It's the worst time for Complexity to get into fights because they're just swinging into the angles they want to peek towards, and they're getting blinded. This is some good damage to start the round for Complexity, but capitalizing on it is a whole different beast. Yeah, we've seen, I mean, we've seen them have some, some damage early on in rounds here, Complexity, but it still feels like, as you were saying earlier, whenever Vitality wants to, they're just marching onto a bomb site, putting that bomb down, and then it's all about those afterplants. 
We've seen teams, I mean, think of the way that, say, Dignitas, say, have been playing, or Dig have been playing retakes on that A bomb site for a while. It's been looking really cool. I think NIP have done similar things. But that's not what we're seeing out of complexity at the moment. Good pick off from Poison. A second one before there's a little bit of revenge, but that's a good trade. I'm happy to see Poison still remaining aggressive despite some of the struggles and some of the awkward deaths he's taken, burning from 100 to 0 in the previous round. It's good to see that it, if it's not him keeping his confidence up, his teammates are still motivating him to remain that aggressive. Two opening kills for the AWP. Obo holding down this A bomb site. He's got the AUG as well, so gonna try and teach Apex a few lessons with it. 25 seconds on the clock as this boost comes in. It's spreading, it burns RPK just a little bit, and Obo's close up now. 20 seconds. That Molotov was really well timed. They're going to be under a lot of pressure once they get onto the side. They walk right into the first one. Good flank, though, from RPK. But only 10 seconds. And with that grenade on top of RPK, there's nothing really left to do here for Apex. He could get more kills and do some damage, but he can't get the bomb plant. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to escape. That's it. He's out. That was that was his own nade. <laughs> oh, no. That's not so good. I so wish, I so wish that would have killed him. <laughs> well... At least he avoids that. That one is right on him. But yeah, uh, good stuff for Poison. Really having an impact out on that A ramp. 8 to 2. A chance still for a bit of a comeback. If they can win the next two rounds, I think Vitality are going to be at a point where their, their money is officially going to be completely out. And then we'll see if they can build from there. Nice flashbang onto. A couple of players there. They actually are in a lot of danger here on the T side. One sprays through, but Flamef not joining. Just the Molotov to force them up, and he's not getting the kills just yet. Poison is doing the very best that he can, and that turns out it's great. Nice triple kill. And finally, Cyber will take him down, and Flamef has been waiting up there the whole time and nearly gets spammed down. I can't believe he didn't get to do more. The grenade also could have dropped him. It's a two on three, but it felt like Flamef never got in, put into play in that. He was, he was in a really weird spot with the smoke that was thrown. It was almost like a one-way, except it was benefiting Vitality. He couldn't see downward through the smoke at that angle, but they could see his legs. So he was dead if he kept trying to peek and helping his teammates. Again, it's poison to step up. Triple kill in this round, a double kill in the previous at this ramp. His op is really coming into an impact in the early stages of these rounds. Eight to two, and a three on two for complexity as everything goes quiet. 45 seconds on the clock and the bomb is still not recovered on a ramp. No, they've given Complexity a bit of time to make a mistake. See if they want to do something with it. A Molotov back here would definitely be devastating to the A defense as Config is the only one there. And there it is. He's going to have to smoke it off. Now, they could rotate right now. I mean, Blamef is already running there. Oboe is sticking around on the other side. 20 seconds, and Config is happy to just waste their time. They are eventually going to get him down, and now Oboe needs to get over here really quickly. He's going to be flanking them. They line up, but it's not going to be enough. Cyber will take him down. A 2-on-3 into a 1-on-2. And Oboe, they're already looking for this flank. They know it could be coming, and they see it. Nice shot from Masuta, and an absolutely stolen round there from Vitality. Vitality is missing no details. The Molotov in the Config's position is the worst. There's that one-way smoke that I was talking about. If Blamef swings into that, he's dead for sure. And even this triple from Poison, it's spectacular, but not enough. Good job from Config. This is great. I mean, waiting for his teammate to come in, waiting for the pop flash from Blamef, and Zaiwu still for like just gets the kill blind. Vitality playing so well at the moment, and, and even Zaiwu in that round, four kills. He's up to 13 and six here on Vertigo. And v Complexity running out of chances to get into this game. Yeah. A seven round lead for Vitality and the way they're playing, it looks like they're only going to extend it. One of the things that we saw in the last game, Vitality versus FaZe, that we really enjoyed about Vitality CT sides was some of the, you know, little aggressive plays they were making, uh, flashing their way into fights, trying to get some pickoffs early to, to make the defense a bit better. Most we've seen so far with our complexity is poison with an AWP either at B at A, but the rest of the complexity team are not not doing a lot to find uh, big openings. Nice enough shot, that's poison again doing it. But I'd actually love to see them try, I don't know, a couple of more things, because it feels like once it gets into like an afterplant type scenario, things aren't working out well. 
I mean, I don't think anything's really worked out well for Complexity. After plants, pre-plants, early rounds, they've been bruised up and beaten. The only positive I've really seen out of this half for Complexity is the occasional glimpses from Poison with those multi-kills in the AWP. Rush on one kill, Obo on three kills. And even if, even if your players to watch are config at Obo, they've got eight kills combined between the two of them. Vitality now have control of middle, a part of the map they haven't even tried to exploit yet in this half. And there's nobody here from Complexity. Because they've been just getting their butt kicked over at A ramp. They've been getting their butt kicked at the B bomb site. They haven't had to worry about this, and now they do. What a crunch this is going to be. I don't know how you hold on to this. Then just getting wrapped on from every side. Good headshot from Rush. And Poison will also chime in. Still a two on three. And the bomb is going to be planted. Apex making his way onto the side. He's a bit low on health. Could be caught if things get real awkward here. Obo trying his best to find a snipe with a deagle. Flank not going to be working out. So, do another round here. 10 to 2 in favor of Vitality, which is such an overpowering style. I mean, some of these rounds have been a little bit dragged out, but some of them have been lightning fast. You gotta feel like this is the problem, right? This first half, when it's done, Complexity is gonna look around and say, what? that was so fast, what happened? We just got run down. Yeah. That's, a, that's the worst sensation to get when you're competing at a, at a game of this size is when you just look around or you hit tab and you see the scoreboard and you're like, holy hell, we've already played 12 rounds. And I mean, that, that's just what happens when not only are you getting beaten, but also you're not really sure what the solution is. So just round after round, you're just continually getting decimated. Vitality putting together a very good offensive half. Again, the game plan from Vitality is, is just awesome. Well, takes a point for the boost over the smoke, expecting some kind of a peek behind it, and they get the reward taken rush down for free. And there's, I mean, there's nothing they can even do to respond at the moment. They just got Obo and B alone. He obviously cannot be the one to push to do anything. Blame if is out here looking for a bit of a revenge, but now he's got to find a way back, and he can't. On the other side, Poison was trying to get into a position to help him out, but that happens way too late. Yeah, he had a pop flash out for Blame F to fall away, but it, it just it wasn't fast enough. Hard to react in that situation. Complexity starting to feel desperate. You can see these individual pushes, individual holds, and individual plays. That's what you fall into when nothing else has worked, and even this is, is making it easy. Still not a point of damage dealt by Complexity yet in this round. Everyone on Vitality at 100 in HP. And Oboe's gonna be found out. He does a little bit the shocks, but it's a triple kill in return. And a nine round lead. Oh wow. 11 to 2. I mean, I know it's their map pick and all, but this is most quite unexpected. The complexity we've seen in the last couple of days have looked amazing and it's been a lot of fun to see them play. And they've looked, they've looked really focused. And I think they've just, right now, they're having a hard time even really understanding what's going on here. This is still, I mean, as, 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 as much as they've impressed and looked good, this is still a pretty inexperienced complexity team at this level of competition. So I think finding the solution on the fly Still might be something that's out of their grasp. And I mean, certainly when you're getting beat down to this extent. Part of it too is, I mean, on top of obviously getting outplayed and having, and Vitality having a game plan that is entirely decimated and countered Complexity's defense, the kills aren't even there. So there's not a single thing Complexity is able to rely on in this half, and that's why you're seeing such a huge disparity in the score. This is really a shocking display. FaZe is probably sitting there being like, why didn't we get this in complexity yesterday? Yeah, they might be thinking that, but I mean, they had, they had every chance, right? And they had a chance even against yeah. Vitality, at least to bring it onto the third map. So, can't be too upset, I suppose. 15th round is coming. I can't believe it's been this quick. I'm just sitting here looking at my <laughs> TW Steel watch, Jason, and thinking, man, it's only been like half an hour and we're already at the end of the, the half. <laughs> What's going on? Has it actually, has it even been that long? I don't know, probably not. Yeah. Probably been less. <laughs> One of the faster halves we've had uh, 
in the tournament so far. There's a pop flash. Ooh, they're gonna just rush towards this bomb site. Rush has the angle, but only the one single kill. Poison's gonna back away and blame of playing around the flames for the moment. This time's it's not a one-way smoke, or it is, but it's in his favor. And he's found Zaiwu with the op and the bomb. That's a good find. Hoping and looking for that third round. You actually have to just keep believing, right? Three rounds sounds like it's way too little, but of course you can make the comeback. Of course you can turn it around. So they're going to have to keep having that conversation. Blame if it's going to be found by RPK and right back into a three on three. And there's not even anyone that can help him out. It's crazy the way that nothing's getting past Vitality. Yeah. No matter what kind of trickery complexity tries to bring out or any of their players tried to pull off, Vitality's always always checking and always got the read, and that's way overexposed. Poison now trapped inside the bomb site. They might not expect him here because of Config's position, but I don't know how much he's gonna actually be able to accomplish. Here comes the plant, he peeks oh, over. Oh, oh, and a teammate on the ramp. Now he's got the plant. RPK swings into it, but Apex shuts him down. And Oboe's position is known as well, but he's found a single kill. Maybe going for both the clutch. He can't get it, no. It's all over the bomb sites. By, uh, Saibu ahead at 15 to eight, top fragging, but the rest of the team are doing just fine. So complexity, I think they're just fighting to, to come alive in this game right now. Get as much as they can. Um, keep making a comeback. You can't really plan for that, can you? No, not at all. You're just seeing if you can play yourself back into this map and, and hopefully it carries over to the second series and they desperately need it. They have a lot of individuals with a lot of power and skill that have not shown up yet. Tags through the smoke, a lot of damage done to Rush. There's the pop flash through and again, Vitality's just not gonna wait. They're gonna go for it. Bomb hits the dirt and so does most of Vitality and there goes Rush. RPK and Shox and Zaiwu, relentless in pursuit before the bomb can even get planted. And they did that same thing in the first half. Their theory of when to attack during these set pieces at the bomb sites, the timing of it is screwing with complexity. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> any, any comeback dreams you might have had, I mean, they get wiped out when you see that pistol round go down the drain. That's amazing. Yeah, the timing is so good. In the first half, it was right on the first step of the retake. Now it's as soon as they get the smokes down and want to attack the bomb site. As soon as the bomb is being pulled out, they're pop flashing and running right through. And no one from Complexity, normally that's a lull in the action and they're getting comfortable. They know exactly that Zywu is there. He still gets a double kill and he's going to be able to survive. Low HP, Masuta steps up to the plate. Gotta be careful, he's so low on health, Oboe. Could easily be a grenade drop down. They have picked up uh, none at the moment. Convic, the only one with any real health. He's going to be going down, and so will Obo next in line. 15 to 2. Well, I don't even know what to say, Jason. <laughs> this is something else. It's all over. Yeah, this is a wild. I mean, a appropriate name for the map. Complexity have got to be dizzy at this point from everything that's been going on. They have no grasp on what is occurring. The, the, yeah, I wish we could listen into the, you know, the timeout break between the two maps just to see what do you actually say after a map like this, you, just, you know, you just laugh it off and try and think about the next one, or like, is there, there's no conversation you can have in the break is there that can make up for it. You just think, well, screw it, it's our map next. Let's see what we can do. So we're going to be walking in, trying to take the fight. Big swing, only the one kill, so that's a pretty good return. And Apex setting up for a Molotov, making sure they don't just try and flood the bomb site immediately. I mean, there's just gonna be more peaks. Apex is gonna get more information. They know the bomb is on the ground. Oboe gonna try and do some work. Apex falls, Masuta's right here to cover. There's a pop flash. He's gonna turn the corner. He's got the dink and he's cleaned up the kill. And complexity just one by one is falling prey to the vitality aggression. They're always pushing in ready for the next fight. Yeah, they are. They get traded out, and I mean, who could have seen that Misuta would have been at that corner too? You, Oba wasn't ready for it at all. Grenade, and now he wants to peek behind it into the Mac 10. He actually spots both players out. That's some good info to play off. Now, they will take him down, but look at Shock coming in from the other side and catching Config. 30 seconds left here. One on two for Blamef. 
This is unbelievable. It's been a while. I don't think we've had a game like this at all throughout all of this spring season. <laughs> 25 seconds. He's running back, but they can hear that. And, well, let's see if they start to glide towards the middle. It could be a fake. He could make the, you know, the sound of running and then start to get back. But RPK is already on it. Blameth going to be trying to see if he can clear the corner here. He's got the deagle and sets up for a single shot. But now they're right on top of him. And there's no way that he could get out. 16 to 2. Absolutely.